This week, we'll be taking you on a tour of Inside Japan. Last month marked the two-year anniversary of our channel. As I increasingly spend more and more time making videos, and with having some time off work, uh, it seemed like a good chance to give my home office a bit of an upgrade. Two months ago, I started the project of making a new desk. For support, I grabbed some white storage solutions from IKEA and then went out to the local home center to find some good wood to serve as a desktop. I ended up grabbing Japanese cedar, and as the 4 meter long boards wouldn't fit in my car, I took advantage of the store's one ton truck to get everything home. I cut them to length and created a wall to wall desktop. Sanding down the wood came next and took a couple hours, after that, I applied a Danish oil to stain the wood with a walnut finish. Having to stain so much wood left me with a bit of a headache from the fumes, which wasn't much fun. With the desk in place, I moved on to building a second workstation, which I covered in detail recently. And you can check it out from the end screens or in the description below. Next, I moved on to improving the lighting by installing some Wi-Fi enabled lights. I ran a 5 meter Govi Dreamcolor LED strip around the edge of the desktop. I also replaced the standard light bulbs in the fixtures with some RGB controllable ones. Installation and setup was pretty simple, with the most difficult aspect being the cable management. Keeping all the cables out of sight and maintaining a clean aesthetic definitely takes a bit of work, but it's worth it in the end. Most recently, I replaced some older paper organizers with some plastic ones from Mujirushi for a cleaner look. At this point, we're still working on getting our studio lighting set up, so maybe we'll have another update for you in the future. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed today's look behind the scenes. Like and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any future content. This has been Inside Japan.